We are going to look at the product rule for taking the derivative, one of our longer derivative rules. So our product rule is going to be something that we use if we have a function where we have a first factor that has an x in it times a second factor that has an x in it. So two x terms multiplied together would tell us that we could use a product rule on it. So to do this, we're going to do the derivative of the first times the original second plus, so product is always going to have a plus, derivative of the first, original second, plus the derivative of the second times the original first. Okay, so not necessarily harder than a basic derivative rule, but just longer than a basic derivative rule. Looking at this first example, h of x, yes, we could take some time and FOIL this out, multiply everything together, um, combine like terms, and then take the derivative. But that would take a little bit longer than just saying, hey, I see we have an x term, 3x plus 2 times another x term, 5x minus 1. So we can use the product rule. I'm going to call this the first factor, and this is the second factor, and apply that product rule. So again, that product rule, derivative of the first, original second, plus derivative of the second times the original first. So let's apply that here. h prime of x, what's the derivative of the first factor? Derivative of 3x is 3, that's our mini rule. Derivative of 2 is a constant, so it's 0. So derivative of the first is 3 times the original second, 5x minus 1. Product always has a plus. Now we're going to do the derivative of the second factor. Derivative of 5x is 5. That's our mini rule. Derivative of negative 1 is 0. It's a constant. So there's the whole derivative of the second times the original first. And order doesn't technically matter here. You could take the derivatives in either order. You just need the derivative of one term times the original other term and then add them together. But I'm going to always use the same order because I think that um, consistency helps us get it down. Looking at the next one, we have g of x, so the derivative is going to be g prime. We have x terms in the first factor and x terms in the second factor. Anytime you have x terms multiplied together, you can take the derivative using the product rule. So I'm going to do the derivative of the first. Derivative of x to the eighth is 8x to the seven. Derivative of 5x is 5. That has more than one term on it, so it needs parentheses. Everything with more than one term will need parentheses on it so that it all gets multiplied together correctly. So you do the derivative of the first, and then you just get to copy the original second factor down. So the original second factor is x cubed minus 6x plus 1. Product has a plus on it. We're going to add the derivative of the second factor. Derivative of x cubed, bring down that power, is 3x squared. Derivative of negative 6x is negative 6. And the derivative of 1, a constant, is 0. There's our derivative of the second factor. Gets multiplied with the original first. x to the 8th plus 5x. Derivative of the first, original second, plus derivative of the second times the original first. So we have all of our pieces in there. So see if you can try the next one. Derivative of y is y prime. You have 5x, so that has an x term in it, and then you have e to the x. So you have two x terms being multiplied together, a first term and a second term. See if you can apply that product rule to this. Derivative of the first, original second. Derivative of 5x is 5. The original second factor is e to the x. Derivative of the first, original second, plus now we're going to do the other derivative times the other original. We're going to do plus the derivative of the second factor. What's the derivative of e to the x? That was e to the x times the original first is 5x. None of these are adding or subtracting a second term, so you don't need parentheses technically. I like to always put them in there. Just when I check it over, that's my derivative of the first. That's my derivative original second. Derivative of the second times the original first. Let me check that I have all five pieces. Not necessarily needing those parentheses on that one, though. If we try the next one, it's going to be the same rule. We have x cubed times e to the x to the ninth minus 2. 
So we have a first factor with an x in it and a second factor in it that has an x. So our derivative h prime of x, I need the derivative of the first times the original second. So derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Let me just put it in parentheses. Then I'm going to put in the original second, e to the x to the ninth minus 2. There's my derivative of the first and the original second. Product always has a plus, and now we're going to do the other derivative with the other original. Derivative of the second times the original first. This is a tough derivative of the second term because we have e to the x to the ninth minus 2. So we have e to the power that's more than just an x. So we need to start by taking the derivative of the power. This was our rule 6. Derivative of the power. Derivative of x to the ninth is 9x to the eighth. Derivative of negative 2 in that power is 0. So there's the derivative of the power times e to the original power. There's my whole derivative of the second factor. So what else do we need in here? We did the derivative of the first. That was nice and simple. The original second plus that tough derivative of the second needs to get multiplied by the original first, x cubed. That way we're done with our product rule. I would suggest you pause the video and maybe try the next one. It's another product rule following the same pattern. We just have to remember our basic derivative rules to be able to do this, though. We need to know that we have x times ln of x, so we have a first and a second factor, both with x's in them. We're going to take the derivative of the first, multiply it by the original second. So what's the derivative of 1x? That would just be 1. You technically don't need to write multiplying by 1, but I will just to feel like I have all the pieces I need. Derivative of the first gets multiplied with the original second. Product always has a plus. We're going to have the derivative of the second times the original first. What was the derivative of the natural log of x? Our rule 9, derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Right, That comes from doing the derivative of the inside over the original inside. Derivative of 1x is 1 over the original inside is x. Are we done now? No, we need all five pieces. Derivative of the first, original second, plus derivative of the second gets multiplied with the original first. Can definitely simplify how we write this, but we're not required to simplify in this class. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Last one here, we have 7 to the x. So we have a first factor with an x in it, an ln of 6x plus 10. So a second factor in there. Our derivative is going to be the derivative of the first times the original second plus derivative of the second times the original first. So we can even give ourselves some blank spaces here if that helps you remember the pattern. We have to fill out these five pieces, or really four pieces now that we already have the plus in there. So first thing, what's the derivative of the first factor? 7 to the x, the derivative is ln of 7 times 7 to the x. Derivative of the first gets multiplied with the original second. You get credit just for copying down what was given to you. Product is always plus. Now I need the derivative of the second. I have an ln in there, so I'm going to do derivative over original. So I'm going to cover up that ln. Derivative of the inside. Derivative of 6x is 6. Derivative of 10 is 0, so there's the derivative of the inside over the original inside. This is our rule 10 of the basic derivative rules. Derivative of the inside over the original inside. There's the derivative of our second and last piece we have to fill out is what was the original first factor? It was just 7 to the x. And there is our product rule. Again, derivative of the first, original second, plus derivative of the second times the original first. Probably the hardest part is remembering all these small basic derivative rules in between there for like our rule six here. You can go back and look at that. Rule nine and rule 10 here, and then also rule seven. Lots to remember as we go through this product rule.